Oh, hi there. My name is Mystery Man. Um, I do have a question for you. Um, have you ever gotten tired of building ripple carry adders? Like, very long adders that take a while to ripple through. And you essentially gain no benefit out of it because as you ripple through your, your ripple carry, you're still wasting time. So your bits barely do anything. And... You know, there's a really simple solution to this. The simple solution is we can build a stereo ladder. So that's what we're going to do today. I just decided to to build a stereo ladder and to to bring the best of both redstoners together. We we kept it solid state, so can't complain about it if it doesn't have pistons now, can you? So yeah, as you can see, I don't just do piston stuff. Okay, so we'll get the acacia log here just to build off of. And I'm going to get some colored wire. So I want these blue wires to represent our carries or the generate wires. I'll get into it later, but we're going to just start building the XOR gate. And believe it or not, um, this is the XOR gate. There's really nothing to it. Okay, I'll let you look at it. Okay, there you go. So now you've got your XOR gate. And all you have to do is you just um, take this wire down and we're gonna hook it up. Um, make sure this one's on two ticks and this one's on one. But yeah, we're gonna hook it up down here. And guess what? Then there's gonna be another XOR gate. <laughs> there's another XOR gate here. So we just put it down there. Piece of cake. And now, since we've got our basic XOR structure built, we need to make the AND gate and such. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to put down some repeaters, like so. And we are going to need to put some blocks there with torches on them. And believe it or not, that's the AND gate. So all I need to do now is I just take the AND gate. Um, oh yeah, that's right. So I did something recently with my, uh, with my redstone. I did, I did this instead. It was, it was easier to build. That's why I did that. But these will be on three ticks. We'll get to that in a sec. Yeah, but you just connect those up, and now you can string your, yeah, your your generate zero line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put three repeaters in a line, uh, starting from this corner. So just go ahead and put them all on two ticks, if you can. So that one's on two. They're all on two. And just put redstone dust above it. Hopefully you can see that. And then these orange blocks, they're just representing me powering in somewhere. Um, believe it or not, that's the first generate line. And the second one is very easy to add because we just take the, the output from there and we take it from there. And that's why I put orange blocks. They're very helpful. So we know what we can use them for. So now, we need to have the generate one wire go under here. It doesn't matter what term they're called, they're just, they're just there. And you just string them together like so. So from the bottom there, down below, up and around. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get the input right in there using a little tower and the timings are all right so yeah, don't worry about that and believe it or that or rather believe it or not <laughs> we're done that's the adder isn't that pretty easy so now all we have to do is just bring out our output and then we can build some easy some easy memory I'm gonna have them on three 
Well, it's just an output register. Okay, how many did I just build? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to do nine. Two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, I broke the ninth one. But I want to do this so that we could do an 8 bit register for our adder. So that little adder can actually do an infinitely sized number because it's a serial adder, which means it opens up a lot of possibilities. I mean, you could do, you can do wiring, um, you can do two-way wiring on one wire. That's a great possibility. You can, you'll see how we'll save a, a number. Um, if you want to actually like use this memory for some other reason besides storing the number, just put blocks in between each, and then you can get the output easier. Uh, but this is just a pure uh, register. I just want to store the result of a of a of a number that we will test together because that's what we're going to do today. I didn't think I'd do a recent tutorial on a serial ladder, but I plan to do more tutorials. Okay, so there's our there's our memory. It's really simple. It just locks when we get to the end, and then I can unlock it or whatever. Yeah, you'll understand. So we've got our adder, we've got that. Um, all we have to do now is build our our input bus. And I'm actually going to use world edit for this because it's tileable. So let's just go ahead and get world edit out. Okay, yeah, you could place blocks in the same spot like that. It's pretty tricky to do that trick. Now that I think about it, so I apologize. Yeah, look, it's silent. You won't have to worry about noise or anything. Okay, so um, it's really easy to add our input. So all we have to do is put the torches on there and our levers. Yeah, so that'll do that. And then I just need blocks here and blocks there, and then we can just wire them up. And now it's ready to be tiled, so yeah, I'm just going to get the wand out from there to, I guess, pause to here. Okay, and then I just stack it, what, seven more times? Eight more times because I'm going to show you something important. So I'm going to break this, I'm going to break that break that. So this bit right here is actually going to be the one that helps us lock our register. As you can see, that's how it locks. I'm going to keep it on for now. Okay, so yeah, we have our... Oh yeah, and also you can have a um, serial input in, and it, this is also parallel. So this um, this, reg this uh, input register is very useful. I just came up with it. <laughs> But it's really nice. Um, right now I just have to add the a clock signal. And I think the way I'm going to do this is just by fitting it in here. Yeah, so you need some way to actually start the adder because input. Okay, there we go. And guess what? We're actually done. This is the whole thing. We can start adding numbers. Uh, I think the first number I'm going to add is just the traditional number because I always do that on the YouTube channel. Um, so it's 3 plus 5. And let's get our output of 8. Oh. <laughs> Looks like I didn't lock it. Speaking of things, I almost forgot to write down the, the actual data because we're going to read it off of the repeaters here. Uh, forgive me. Okay, as you can see, this is actually a pretty fast serial adder. It, it runs at, uh, basically it cycles at six game ticks, which is okay. It's not the fastest thing, but it's basically comparable to ripple carry, which means ripple carry, you know, it's kind of like, why would he build it? You know, there's no point. 32, yeah, um, I've seen designs 
that are very fast and small, but for some reason the redstone's not working out because uh, I think comparators were slightly different in 1.8. That's okay, I made some compromise in this version. So, okay, let's try it again, our traditional number. Yeah, we should get eight. And what do you know, we got eight right there. This is just to lock it, so that's why I didn't include it. So we got eight. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add another number. I'm going to add, let's add 25 and 27 together. I don't know, pure, pure curiosity. So that's the um, 16 plus eight plus one. And then for 27, it's just writing it like this, which is just 24 plus three. And if I press the button, we should get out our answer. 52 should be the answer. Yeah, look how fast that is. I can't even explain it in time. So four plus, okay, so 48 plus four is 52, and that was correct. That was the result. And that's eight bits. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Very good, actually. Like, considering the size of that adder, you, the, the things that are bigger are literally that and that. Um, it's crazy how we built this together, too. Like, wow. I'm just going to just... Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Let's do a full carry. That's always fun to do. I think you just turn on every bit. I'll do that except for one, though, because I didn't put a carry, a carry out bit. All right, so let's just watch that go. Hopefully I cleared it. And there we go, we got the 128 cuz, yep. Good, or, yep. Because we did 127 plus one, which is 128. So yeah, that's why I expected 128. Well, it's pretty quick, let's just say that. For a serial ladder, that's pretty good. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please give the video a like, and yeah, I hope this helps. This is actually good for survival mode. Um, I think in some future videos, I'll go over some more serial-based redstone, serial um, memory, maybe some serial decoding, uh, ser one, you know, two-way wiring on one wire. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into some fun stuff, so stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. See you later.